वेलकम स्टूडेंट टू प्रवीण पाटिल कॉलेज ऑफ डिप्लोमा इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी अवर डिपार्टमेंट ह्यूमिनिटी एंड साइंस कोर्स बेसिक मैथमेटिक्स कोर्स को डबल टू वन जीरो थ्री नेम ऑफ द फैकल्टी मिसेस स्मिता शेखर कंबे टूडेज लेक्चर इज डिपेंड ऑन कॉर्डिनेट जोमेट्री यूनिट थ्री चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स coordinate geometry it is totally in this diagram you have to see x and y axis related what are they what here you see in this picture this is the van climbing on the mountain there is the sun what this indicate and is this diagram slippery slope fallacy definition this logical fallacy occur when someone argues with providing adequate evidence that a certain action or proposition will lead to undesirable outcome via a series of events that is slippery that means our target is slope in the mathematical language point slope form we have to see in this picture equation of straight line the general equation of straight line is given by the general equation of first degree into variable always remind that in mathematics x and y are variables and remaining alphabet are always constant belongs to capital r that is real number set we have to consider ax plus by plus c equal to 0 where a b c are the real constant such that a and b are non zero simultaneously graph of the equation ax plus bx by plus c is equal to zero always is a straight line therefore any equation of the form ax plus by plus c equal to zero where capital a and capital b are non zero simultaneously is called general linear equation of the straight line now slope of straight line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 is given by small m m alphabet used for slope so is equal to minus a upon b means what the coefficient of x variable upon the coefficient of y variable example find the slope of straight line 2x plus 3y plus 7 equal to 0 where a is 2 b is 3 and c is 7 our formula is what m is equal to minus a upon b therefore m is equal to minus 2 upon 3 again suppose a line m is equal to 5 is given line b is given x plus 5y is equal to 2 5y is equal to minus x plus 2 y is equal to minus 1 upon 5x plus 2 upon 5 the m is the always minus 1 upon 5 Line C is given minus ten y minus two x equal to zero. Minus ten y is equal to two x. Y is equal to minus one upon five into x. M is equal to minus one upon five. Any guess? If two lines slopes are equal, then that are which lines? Yes, we have to discuss this topic. Now example for practice. Note down that example one. Find the slope of straight line five x plus two y plus seven equal to zero. Second, find the slope of straight line 4x plus 3y plus 8 is equal to zero. Use m is equal to minus a upon b formula. Now, slope of line passing through the two points x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2 is given by the formula m is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. be careful x1 not equal to x2 these both the points are not same then we have to apply this formula in this diagram we have to take the x axis here is the y axis x1 y1 is the first point x2 y2 is the second point always the change in x x2 minus x change in y axis that is y2 minus y always so it is denoted by this diagram that is right angle triangle so the slope is change in y divided by the slope 
change in x as we move along the line from x1 comma y1 to x2 comma y2 so remain always m is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 is the slope of the line passing through the point x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2 it is the formula let us check how it is defined suppose m is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 always the points are given by in the form of first point is always considered as a x1 y1 where x variable and y variable second point we have to consider x2 and y2 always hence the y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 it is the formula let us check by the example if y2 is equal to 1, y1 is equal to minus 7, x2 is equal to 12 and x1 is equal to minus 4. We have to put the values in the slope of the two points formula. y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. So y2 is what? Obviously 1 minus y1 is minus of minus 7. So x2 is what? 12 minus in bracket minus of 4. 1 plus 7 gives value 8. 12 plus 4. Yes, what the it is, uh, value is given by? Obviously 16. Final answer is 1 upon 2. Hence, we have to revise and always remind. Slope of line passing through two points is given by m is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 always. I take another example. Find the slope of line passing through two points are 3 comma 3 and 5 comma 6. Consider first point is x1 comma y1. Second point is x2 comma y2. So we have to put the formula m is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. Our obviously y2 is 6 minus y1 is 3. Next x2 is 5 and x1 is 3. 6 minus 3 gives the value 3. 5 minus 3 gives the value 2. So m is equal to 3 upon 2. Always remind that first point is x1 y1. Second point is x2 y2. We have to put y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 with their positive signs also. Now slope of a line passing through two points is given by m is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. With use of this we have to find the k if the slope of a line passing through point 3 comma minus 5 and k comma minus 1 is 1 upon 3. In this example the we have to find the coefficient that is the obviously which point that is x2 we have to coordinate we have to find so that's why we have the slope m is equal to 1 upon 3 is given part so x1 is 3 y1 is minus 5 x2 is k and y2 is equal to minus 1 our formula m is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 so what is the format 1 upon 3 it is the m and y2 value is what yes minus 1 y1 value is minus 5 we have to put the bracket because minus sign is middle then we have to take the x2 k minus x1 so obviously 3 minus 1 minus minus it is plus 5 plus 5 minus 1 give value 4 k minus 3 remain as the same so we derive the simplification in a form of 1 upon 3 is equal to 4 upon k minus 3 we have to take the cross multiplication 1 into k minus 3 is k minus 3. 3 4s are 12. Minus 3 goes this side. So it is obviously plus 3. 12 plus 3 15. So we derive k is equal to 15 from this example. If we have to take k is equal to 15 here. And we have to apply the formula. What is that? y2 minus y1 is equal to x2 minus x1. y2 is what? Minus 1. Then minus of minus 5 upon x2 is what? We have to derive 15 minus 3. So y2 is how we derive minus 1 minus in bracket minus 5. So
सो माइनस माइनस प्लस फाइव फाइव माइनस वन ऑब्वियसली फोर फोर इज द न्यूमरेटर देन एक्स टू माइनस एक्स वन एक्स टू इज वॉट वी हैव टू डी डैट एक्स फिफ्टीन माइनस ऑब्वियसली थ्री फिफ्टीन माइनस थ्री इट इज ऑब्वियसली ट्वेल्व सो हाउ मेनी वी डेर आर फोर थ्री इज आर ट्वेल्व सो फाइनल आंसर वन अपॉन थ्री आवर एम इज राइट एंड दैट्स वाई वी डेर आव के वैल्यू इज फिफ्टीन सो बाय चेकिंग क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन यू हैव टू पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ के इन द फॉर्मैट वाई टू माइनस वाई वन अपॉन एक्स टू माइनस एक्स वन वी डेर आव द आंसर एम इज वन अपॉन थ्री सो आवर आंसर इज राइट वॉट यू सी इन दिस डायग्राम Obviously, this one is the x-axis, and this one is y-axis. So, adjacent, opposite, and hypotenuse. We know that the tan alpha or tan theta is opposite opposite side upon adjacent side. That is given by consider as a slope. In this diagram, this portion is highlighted by red line. Is hypotenuse. It is look like the slope format. That's why our tan alpha opposite upon adjacent is equal to m. That's why tan alpha is equal to m. M means slope. In this diagram, we have to consider of if this way here the x-axis is given, here the y-axis is given. We rotate the angle in the anti-clockwise direction and we complete the whole circle shape. then m is equal to tan theta is called slope of the tangent if inclination in bracket angle is given then the slope of line is m is equal to tan theta example is given find the slope of line whose inclination is 45 degree m is equal to tan theta we know from this format inclination angle of the slope of the line is given then m is equal to tan theta we know that tan 45 so theta we have to substitute 45 tan 45 from the table is 1 that's why m is equal to 1 so always remind that if any inclination is given then the slope of line is always m is equal to tan theta we have to put the angle theta value always now we have to revise the slope formula that is the slope of line passing through the points that is x1 y1 and x2 y2 is follows as now we have to see this diagram this basically x axis is given then we have to take the y axis is there so we have to intersect some line y is equal to mx plus b then the difference that is slope between these is given by rise upon run means what y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 so y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 is the slope formula given by this diagram by the equation of line y is equal to mx plus p is given intersecting from the two points x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2 then m is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 find the equation of line given two points so two points of the line find the equation of line that passes through but for this purpose we need the slope here minus 3 comma 5 and minus 1 comma minus 7 we have to put the formula m is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 where x1 is minus 3 y1 is 5 x2 is minus 1 and y2 is minus 7 So minus seven minus five upon minus one in bracket minus three. Simplification minus seven minus five gives value minus twelve. Minus one plus three gives value two because three minus one is two. So minus twelve upon two is equal to minus six. So we derive m is equal to minus six. Now find the slope of line. Passing through point zero comma zero and three comma minus three, graphically it is denoted by here three minus three is allotted here zero minus comma zero. It is starting from the origin. We have to put y two minus y one upon x two minus x one minus three minus zero 
थ्री माइनस जीरो माइनस थ्री अपॉन थ्री एम